I have been getting asked the question, why am I doing this? Why am I putting my heart on the line out there with some of the blogs that I talk about some pretty emotional topics? And the answer to that is, is because I don't want you to feel like you're alone going through your journey. I don't want you to feel like no one understands you because I do. I've been there in the depths of despair feeling like life would never be the same again. I'm also doing this to put a real face <laughs> to an apostate. Um, I don't feel like I'm an angry person. I have had anger dealing with leaving the church, but I have, for the most part in my journey, tried to stay away from the super angry ex-Mormons. Um, and no judgment there. We all get through this process in our own way. But I wanted to approach this from what was normal and natural to me. And so that's what I did. But I wanted to put a face to this because I think a lot of times people who hear of ex-Mormons, at least those people in the church, or the word apostate, some angry, crazy person <laughs> comes to mind. And what I found what I have found out through this journey is I've had many interactions with many ex-Mormons or people in different stages of this process is we're all just normal people trying to figure it out. And I really like that. I like that we're all human. And I guess that's another reason I'm doing this, just to show that I'm a normal person going through a huge life change. And my faith crisis was ginormous. And that's just another reason why I'm, I'm going to those places of bringing back the memories of my journey because it was real. It was hard. This wasn't just something I woke up one day and thought, okay, yeah, I don't feel like being a Mormon anymore. <laughs> but one of the things I want to talk to you about today that I think is really important is for you not to under estimate or undermine your, the process that you're going through right now, whether you're leaving Mormonism or any other faith or some huge kind of paradigm shift that you feel will change your life forever. You're probably feeling very frightened. You, you're fearful. You're, you're not sure of what's going to happen in the future. You're not sure what relationships will be able to weather the storm, so to speak. Um, you have a lot of self-doubt because maybe you're thinking, but why am I the only one thinking these thoughts that this faith that I was raised in isn't true anymore. All the people that I love and people that I respect fully believe it. And so maybe you start feeling like, well, there's something wrong with me. And I want to tell you that there's nothing wrong with you. What you're going through, this process of trying to figure it out is very normal and natural. You are probably thinking to yourself, what if I mess up? And I guess I want to say to you, that's okay. I have messed up before. I have not done this journey perfectly. There's no perfect or right way to do it. But what I want you to feel is that you're not alone, that all the feelings and emotions you're feeling are real. And when I talk about those feelings, I get emotional because they are real. They're, they're real things that you're dealing with and it should not be brushed under the rug. Don't be afraid to figure it out what you're feeling, to follow your gut and just go, no, you know what? I'm an adult. I can figure this out. What if this journey you're on, if, uh, if you're thinking like, well, what if I screw it all up? What if I'm doing it wrong? What if I make people mad? You know what? Make people mad. <laughs> it's I think it's the most, the most important part of this life journey that we're on is that we figure out what is right for us individually. What I want you to know is there are a million ways to live this life, not just one straight and narrow road. There are so many colorful paths you can take. And once you embrace that, that you give yourself permission to go figure things out, mess up if that's what it takes, messing up, Embrace all the goodness that life has to offer so you can figure it out. And I think, as, as, at least for me, going on this journey is feeling like my life was spiraling out of control. I had to get through that because through getting through that process of feeling like nothing is ever going to be the same again, I found I was able to kind of land on more solid footing. Had I stayed in that place of doubt that I stayed in for years, <sighs> that's a terrible place to be. Sitting on the fence is a terrible place to be. So what I want you to have is the faith in yourself. That that's the only thing that matters right now as you're going through this process. The faith in yourself that you can figure it out. Because you can. And I'm here to help you. You have 
other people hopefully that you can confide in and talk to, um, books you can read, websites you can go to. That's, That's what, what I'm wanting to create here is a community of people who need each other to get through this process. Another thing that I want you to remember, and I wish someone had told me this you know, five, six years ago. It's not your responsibility to make everything all right for everyone else. You have to make this process and this life journey right for you. And so, of course, you don't want to go around breaking everybody's heart and being mean and rude about it all. But in the, at the end of the day, your soul is the one that needs to figure it out because you've got this life and really, that's all we really know is that we've got this life and you don't want to be living it stuck and I can speak from experience. <laughs> I let myself be stuck for too long. And what I found is once I gave myself permission to read what I wanted to, talk to who I wanted to, do all the things that I wanted to, to figure it out, everything got lighter and better and brighter. And so that's why I'm doing this. I want you to feel that. I want you to know that at the, on the other side of this process is just a good place to be. Be confident in your intuition. Let this journey take you where it needs to because you will be a better person for it. Take your time, give yourself permission to do what you need to do and trust yourself because I promise it's a good one and everything will be okay. Mm -hmm.